Praise the living God. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. This is the day that the Lord has made. You and I will rejoice and be glad in it. Another day. Another blessed day. We bless the name of the Lord. He's worthy. He's mighty. He's excellent. He's wonderful. We bless the Almighty God that loves us so much. He loves us so much. He cares for us so much. He Five battles we don't see. We bless his soul in it. He's beautiful. He says, silent is wonderful. We bless the name of the Lord in the name of Jesus. Let us have a word of prayer, children of God. Oh, Heavenly Father, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the Asians of the Father, you are beautiful. You are excellent. You are wonderful, magnificent God, the God of wonders, the God of who I am, I am that changes all. Oh, many potent God, oh, many present God. Father God, we love you. Father God, we bless you. Father God, we worship you. Father God, we adore you. Thank you for your bringing us the presence of your mighty God to sit at your feet again. And I go, we say thank you, Lord. Thank you for all the battle that you fought for us tonight, oh Lord. You, you won the battle. Father God, thank you for waking each and every one of us up. Oh, in the name of Jesus Christ, we say, thank you we appreciate you so much in jesus name father god we bless you in jesus and we thank you for your sweet holy spirit we thank you for your precious son lord jesus we thank you for your holy angel we thank you for all humanity we thank you for the body of christ in jesus name father my lord heavenly father as we come to you mighty god in any way that we are sinning against you father that will make you not too present in our midst we ask for your mercy wash us cleanse us and purify us in your precious blood in jesus name and i plead the blood of just god over this one and this place right now father but i saw the in the, I saw the land with your precious blood of Jesus Christ. I cover my space, my body, my husband, my children, my family with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. I cover all the children of God with the precious blood of the Lamb of God. I cover each and every one of us with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Father, I plead the blood of Jesus Christ in the air. I plead the blood of Jesus Christ on the land. I plead the blood of Jesus Christ on the sea. I plead the blood of Jesus Christ on the sea. I plead the blood of Jesus Christ my company this area in the name of Jesus Christ. So the word of God in the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you. Holy Spirit of God, we welcome in our midst in the name of Jesus Christ. Come and have your way. Holy Spirit of God, speak to each and every one of us in Jesus' name. Help us to hear you, Almighty God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit of God, as we want to do, discuss about you today, help us to open open our spirit to receive you, Almighty God. We depend on you, we rely on you. I don't know do anything, Almighty God, I depend on you. Holy Spirit of God, I decree you increase in me in Jesus' name. And I'm going to rise and let you scatter. Kind of Father, destroy every work of sinner in the name of Jesus Christ. Wherever the enemy gathered right now, because of our gathered right now, Father, let the fallen scatter for our sake in Jesus' name. And Almighty God, send your warrior angel to beauty, help you Say your word, your angel, to, to, to guide us, Almighty God, and build the head of fire around us, O Lord. As your word said, as the mountain surrender Jerusalem, Father, surrender us with your fire, with your pillar of fire right now, Father, in the name of Jesus God. Father, let your word go forth, Almighty God. Use your word to break every hearty heart, Almighty God, and use your word to soften your children. Have to receive you, to accept you as their Lord, their Savior, Jesus. Say, Father, we love you. Father, we bless you. Father, we worship you. Father, we adore you. Thank you, everlasting Father. Father, I see this prayer with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. You are 100% welcome, Father God. The God, the Father, the God, the Son, the God, the Holy Spirit, we welcome you in our mercy. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We bless the name of the Lord Jehovah Almighty. We serve a mighty God, the God of who I am, I am that changes now. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord bless you. So, beloved, <clears throat> beloved, we are here to talk about our sweet Holy Spirit. The help of the Holy Spirit, the vital role Holy Spirit is playing in my life, in your life, as a child of God, as a believer. Holy Spirit is playing a, a vital role. Holy Spirit is the one that leading you are now every day. Holy Spirit is the one that helping you at any time you fall on your knees or you or you sin and fail to pray. And at any time you are praying, Holy Spirit is the one that helping you. He helps you, he helps me at 24 hours of the day. Holy Spirit is the person. We are going to talk about our sweet Holy Spirit. We are going to talk how Brahm Moses wished, how Brahm Moses deserved, deserve, uh, deserve uh, for your desire, for you and I, for the children of God, for the Spirit of God to rest in us, for, us, for the Spirit of God to be in us. Brah Moses wished, Brah Moses desired it, but I thank God, God grants the, 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 the desire 
of Brahm Moses. We bless the name of the Lord. Now you and I, we have the sweet Holy Spirit. We have the Holy Spirit that dwells in us, that help us. Ah, we love our sweet Holy Spirit. I love him, I love him. Without him, we cannot do nothing. Holy Spirit is so sweet, he's so sweet, he's so sweet. He leads us every day because he is holy. You and I, we must be holy. He is holy. We, are, have, we must be holy. We should not neglect holiness. We should not neglect holiness. We should not abandon holiness. We should not throw holiness out of our Christian's life. Because Holy Spirit is holy. Holy Spirit is holy. Holy Spirit is sweet. He's kind. He's gentle. He's got a where there is quarrel, where there is trouble, where is, there is where there is no no where there is no truth where there, there is evil sin mm, you don't find holy spirit there because he's a gentle man he's so gentle he's so gentle he doesn't force himself to your side to, to your life he doesn't force himself to any of us he doesn't force himself to now he doesn't force himself to somebody's life he's so holy he's so gentle let us reverence him every day let us let reverence him. Let us let us obey him. Because his mission, his mission of him, of him being here is for him, happy you and I. We should not neglect him. Holy Spirit is with you, is with me. As a child of God, born again, believer. Holy Spirit, God is with you, is with me. We bless the name of the Lord. We thank God for today. We are going to discuss about our sweet Holy Spirit. Our lovely sweet Holy Spirit. We love him. We love to see Holy Spirit. I love my sweet Holy Spirit. I know you do. I know you do because what we do, what we are doing, we cannot do it with our own strength. Anything, anything that you are doing, holy things, so I'm not talking about evil. When they are doing evil things, it's sinful thing. Ah, beloved, it's not there. It's gone. Far away. Far away. <laughs> you will not find him where, where there is evil. Mm -mm -mm -mm. You will not find sweet Holy Spirit there. Gentle Holy Spirit. So, beloved, let us go to the book. Let's start from the book of, um, of uh, Numbers. Let us go Numbers 11. Praise Master Jesus. The book of Numbers. Hallelujah. We are going to read the book of Numbers. We are going to read from 16. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Uh, from 16 to 17. From 16 to 17, we are going to read in Jesus' name. I'm reading. Let, <laughs> I will read in Jesus' name. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. And the Lord said unto Moses, Gather unto me seventy men of the elders of Israel, whom thou knowest that to be the elders of the people, and the officers of or officers over them, and they bring them unto the tabernacle of the congregation, that they may stand, that they may stand. There with thee, and I will come at them and take and talk with thee there, and I will take off my I will take off the spirit which is upon thee, and I will put it upon them, and they shall bear the burden of the people with thee, that thou that that thou bear it, not thyself alone. Praise Master Jesus. So let us go to, we are seeing the book of praise, Master Jesus. Numbers, we are seeing the, the same numbers. Numbers chapter 11. We are going to read now 25 to 20, 29. I read in Jesus' name. And that the Lord came down in a cloud and, a, and a spake unto him and took care of the spirit that was upon him and gave it upon to the seventy men unto the seventy elders and it came to pass that when a dead spirit rested upon them they prophesied and did not cease hallelujah glory be to god on highest but but hallelujah 
but uh, but there remain remain there remained two of uh, the men in the camp. The name of uh, the one were Ada, and uh, the name of uh, the other Meda. And uh, the spirit rested upon uh, them, and uh, they were of uh, them that were uh, written, but uh, went uh, not out unto the tabernacle, and uh, then uh, prophesied in the camp. And there ran a younger man and told Moses and said, Edad and Medad do prophesy, do prophesy, prophesy in the camp. And Joshua, the son of Nun, the servant of Moses, one of his younger men, answered and said, My Lord Moses, forbid them. And Moses said, Unto him, envious thou for my sake, won't God that all the lost, all the all the lost people were prophets, and that the Lord won't put His spirit upon them. Praise Master Jesus, Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We thank God for 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 Brother Moses. You see, the burden, the things that the, the, the work Moses, Moses was doing, it was too much for Brother Moses alone, taking care of all, all those people by them, the children of Israel. But the burden was too much for, for Brother Moses. So the, the spirit of the Lord, it was just only upon Brother Moses. It was just only on, on, upon them, upon Brother Moses. So now, Father God said, as a, uh, gather me 70 edda, the elders in uh, Israel. But gather me 70 of them that you know this is the elders of, uh, of uh, Israel. Gather me those elders. I will come down. I will take your, I will take the spirit that is upon you and we put it upon them so that they can bear the burden as well with you, not just only you standing, counseling people judging people now the, when they come their quarrel you are the one that will go and settle the quarrel little quarrel but when big quarrel moses is the one that doing everything so the so the burden will be shared to those uh, 70 men so when the father god when father god uh, now told the praise master jesus may the lord bless you may the lord bless you so when master when the moses now i heard about when the father god spoke to moses he said he told moses Gather me 70 men. And then Moses did as according to, to the word of the Lord. God bless you, sir. God bless you. So Moses now, Moses now gathered the 70 men. As Moses gathered the 70 men, God, God, God now, God a place, God bless you, God bless you. God, God a place, a, God to the, the spirit of Moses and gave it and put it on, on, the, on the 70 men. As, the, as God uh, placed those, uh, as God uh, took the, the Moses, the, the spirit that was in, um, upon Moses, then he gave it to those, uh, those, uh, th those uh, 70 men. There was two, two people, two, two people was not in that tabernacle in that day when the God uh, called, uh, told the Moses to bring them. And they were in the camp. They were not among, among the 70. So, but they, and the 70 was, was prophesying. So when the spirit of the Lord came upon them, they were prophesying. As they, 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 they were prophesying, those two people that were not there, Adab and the, um, the Medab, were not there. They were prophesying in the camp. So as they were prophesying in the camp, one of the, the, one of the, the young men ran to Brahmosis and told Brahmosis. So the servant, the, one of the servants, the, one of the servants, Joshua, Joshua told uh, Brahmosis, Stop the uh, Joshua told uh, Brother Moses as uh, Brother Moses heard about it. Joshua said, Joshua said, and uh, Joshua, the son of a nun, uh, the servant of a uh, Moses, on the uh, one of a uh, of uh, his uh, young uh, men, has uh, and they uh, said, uh, My Lord, uh, Moses, uh, forbid them. So the, 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 it was telling uh, uh, Moses to forbid the one that is in the camp. Those two men that was in a camp that prophesying that the, the Father God placed the Father God to the spirit from Moses and put it upon them and let the, the spirit of the Lord rest upon them. May the Lord bless you. 
rest upon them. As the spirit of the Lord rests upon them and they prophesy, but the two that were not there, they were still, they, are, they were prophesying in the camp. So when they, God, God bless you, when they were, they, when they, they were uh, prophesying in the camp, so the, 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 what is it called? Um, um, Joshua now said to, said to Bramosis, said to Bramosis, that uh, that they should forbid them. So Bramosis said, "No. Why should I forbid them? Are you envy because of me? Are you envy? Don't let let them be. Then let them be. Bramosis, all the Bramosis uh, wish uh, for for all of uh, for the children of Israel, for the children of Israel, for the for the children of Israel." To, to, for the spirit of God uh, to be upon the children, uh, for God to put His spirit upon it, for God to put His spirit upon it. That is the wish uh, of uh, Bra Bra Moses. Uh, Bra Moses wish uh, all the people of Israel that, that the God will rest His spirit upon it. The spirit of the Lord will be upon it, so that they will prophesy as well. I thank God for Bra Moses. He wish it and he desire he desire it by them. I thank God for Bra Moses. So Bramosis said it by them. But uh, I thank God for Bramosis. I thank God for God that answered Bramosis' wish, that granted, that granted the, the wish of uh, Bramosis. In uh, Acts chapter 2, in Acts chapter 2, verse 1 to, verse, verse one to, to 4, you and I can see the day of the Pentecost when the Holy Spirit, when the children of God gathered there, when the children, the disciples gather, the Spirit of God came upon them, rest upon them. The Spirit of God came upon them, rest upon all, all those, all those people, all those uh, disciples that that that, that, that gathered there. The, 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 that the 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 desire of Bramosis was granted to all of us. You and I now we have the Holy Spirit. You and I, the Holy Spirit dwells in us. The Holy Spirit lives in us. We are not alone. It's because of that we, we should not do anything that you are doing in the vineyard of anything that you are doing as a Christian to live a holy life, to live a righteous life. You have to acknowledge so, sweet Holy Spirit. He's the one that will give you that grace. He's the one that will give you that grace to do what you are doing, to be holy every day, to strive for perfection every day is by the help of the Holy Spirit. It's by the help of the Holy Spirit, beloved. The day of that, the day of the Pentecost. I said, when the when the day of the Pentecost was a fully come, they were all with a one accord in one place, and a suddenly, then and a suddenly, then it came a sound, a, a sound from the heaven as a rushing a mighty wind, and it filled all the, the house of where they were in the city. The whole the the the, the sound. The sound, the sound that suddenly came, came up, came in that house. They were, all of them were filled, the house were filled, all of, of them were filled with the Holy Ghost. And the day we were all filled with the Holy Ghost, and they began to speak in tongues. They began to speak in tongues. The Holy Spirit. We should not neglect, neglect we should not neglect the sweet Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit is, is vital. There is vital in your Christian life, in my Christian life. Let us acknowledge him every day in our lives. Let us acknowledge the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is upon you, is upon me. Jo Let us go to the book of Joel. Sorry, Joel. The book of Joel. Joel chapter 2, verse 20. Praise Master Jesus. Joel chapter 2, verse 20, 28 to 29. I read in Jesus' name. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah to the Lord to the Lamb of God, the word of the Lord. The Lord has said, Praise Master Jesus. Joel, let us go there. Praise Master Jesus. Joel, praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Joel chapter 2, Joel chapter 2, 28 to 29. I read in Jesus' name. And it shall come to pass after 
afterward that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall see dreams, shall, shall dream dreams. Your young men shall see visions. And also no, upon the day, hallelujah, upon the servant and upon the handmaids, in the those days will I pour out my spirit. I thank God for the for for, for God. He pour his I said he will pour his spirit upon you, upon me, upon our children. We pour his spirit upon every one of us that believe in him. The Lord said he will pour on the spirit of God will be upon us. That means the spirit of God is upon you. The spirit of God is upon me as a believer. Holy Spirit is upon you. Holy Spirit is upon me. We should not neglect him. Let us invite him every day in our lives. In our lives, let us invite him every day in our lives. In the, in the book of Zechariah, in the, in the book of Zechariah, uh, chapter, Zechariah chapter 12, verse 10. The Lord said, the Lord, the Lord said, the poor, the Lord said, I will pour, he will pour upon you and I the spirit of grace. The spirit of grace and the supplication. The spirit of grace, that means the grace, you and I, the grace of God that we have, the spirit of grace. He will pour, but God said, he will pour the spirit of grace upon you. It's the spirit of grace upon me. You and I, we need the grace of the Lord. You and I, we need the grace of the Lord every day. We need the grace of the Lord. Father God said he will pour his spirit of grace upon you, the spirit of a supplication upon you, upon me. What a blessed God we have. He's, he's a good God that loves each other. He knows we cannot do it our own strength. We, he knows we cannot. This heavenly race without Holy Spirit, you and I cannot able to fulfill, to do it. We cannot able to, to finish it. But the help of the Holy Spirit. We thank God for the help of the Holy Spirit. The help, the help of the Holy Spirit. You know, I thank God for prophet. I thank God for all those prophets by, by them. Prophet Ezekiel. You know, you and I knew about the prophet Ezekiel. How God spoke to a prophet Ezekiel to speak to the dry bones. And the prophet Ezekiel did exactly what Father God spoke to him, what Father God told him to do, to speak to those dry bones. And then he did, and those dry bones came alive. The dry bones came alive when Prophet Ezekiel spoke to those, uh, prophesied unto those dry bones. He's the Almighty God, he's the Holy Spirit that is in you, that is in me, that when we speak something, we will prophesy to ourselves, we will prophesy to somebody, prophesy to our children. It will come to pass because the Holy Spirit is in you. The Holy Spirit is in me. We should believe that he is our helper. We should believe that he is our intercessor, intercessing for you and now every day. Intercede for you and I every day. We thank God for the word of God. We thank God for all those prophets. We thank God for Brahm Moses. We bless the name of the Lord. We thank God for the men of God, the women of God in our time, in this end time, that God is using them mightily and they are not diluting the word of the Lord. They are standing on the word of the Lord and they're preaching the word of the Lord. We thank God for each and every one of them. We bless the name of the Lord for them. More grace unto them, each and every one of them. All the men, all the women of God are striving every day to live a holy life, to live a righteous life. We thank God for their lives. May the Lord strengthen each and every one of us in the name of God. May the Lord be with each and every one of us. In the name of God. May the Lord grant all of, all of us. May the Lord grant our heart desires in the name of God. On that day, all of us will see each other in heaven in Jesus' name. Praise Master Jesus, hallelujah. The spirit of the Lord God is upon you. The spirit of the Lord God is upon me. We bless the name of the Lord. Let us go to the book of Ezekiel. Praise Master Jesus. Ezekiel chapter, praise Master Jesus. Ezekiel chapter 36. Sorry. Ezekiel chapter 36, verse 1 to 14. Let us read the word of the Lord. 
what the Almighty God spoke to Prophet Ezekiel. And Ezekiel, he didn't disobey God. He didn't say, ah, he didn't doubt God. We didn't get doubt God. You and I, we have Holy Spirit. When God Almighty has placed something in your heart, placed something to do in the house of God, do something so somebody, do, do something that you know. God is the one that's telling you, talking to you. Don't doubt. Don't doubt. Just ask him to give you the grace. He said, I will pour my grace upon you and the, and the supplication. And the supplications. He's pouring your, his grace upon you. Ask him. Don't doubt. When you hear his voice, his beautiful, quiet, sweet voice, don't doubt. Do what he said you should do. Don't think it's the enemy speaking to you. The enemy will never, never. The enemy will never tell you to do the things of God. He will always say something that we that we that we contradict the word of God to you. Check something out when you see that is something that you are doubting. Check this thing that I'm doubting. Is he is he run with the things of God or is it from the enemy? Is it negative or, or positive? If it is negative, know that it's from an enemy 100 percent Check that check that word out. Check that, that, that word out. Don't let the enemy deceive you. That Holy Spirit will speak to you, think that is the is is the, the enemy. Speak to you to do something good in the house of God, in the vineyard of God, to do something good for God. The enemy will say, "Oh, I don't think that this is not good. Mm, this is not good." No, the enemy will never, never, never tell you to do something good in the house of God. Do something good for for God. All the things that you want to, the negative thing that we let you, that we that we that we bring a suggestion to your heart for you to reject the good things of God. We thank God for the sweet Holy Spirit to let now you and I, as a, as a prophet Ezekiel prophesy unto those bones. As soon anything, any bone, anything that you know that is not working right in your life, speak to them, prophesy. Because the Spirit of the Lord is upon you. The Spirit of the Lord that was upon the uh, prophet, uh, 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 prophet uh, Ezekiel is upon you. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon you. Professor, speak, to, speak life to every area, every area of your life. Every area of your life, speak life. And God will, God will answer you. God will back you up. Holy Spirit will back you up. Holy Spirit will back you up because you and I, we are the children of God. You and I, we are the children of the Most High God. We are the one that he gave. God gave us the dominion. The dominion to rule, to reign. Jesus has, Jesus has given you an arm. We should, not let, we should not let the enemy stop us from to do what God said. Gave us the power to do, to speak to something. He said, speak to You know the time Lord Jesus Christ said, when, the, when Lord Jesus Christ spoke to the, to the fig tree, when they were coming, uh, uh, Apostle Apostle Peter was in uh, Apostle yeah Apostle Peter was uh, was asking Lord Jesus Christ you spoke to this uh, fig tree now it's gone he said if you and I the, the, the Father Lord Jesus Christ, if you said to this thing if you said to this mountain this mountain be that remote be that cast into the sea and it will obey you we should not doubt ourselves. We are children of God. Holy Spirit is with us. We should not doubt. As a child of God, you should not doubt. Speak to yourself. Prophesy to yourself. Prophesy to your city. Any situation that you find yourself, prophesy. Prophesy because the word of the Lord said, life, in, life and death is in the power of our tongue. That you doubt that this, because that you are not, we should not prophesy, we should not say something negative to ourselves. We should not bring ourselves down with negative things. If something is not working, don't put don't pull the blame on you. You can ask Father God, Father, I did this is wrong. Forgive me. Give me the grace to do it again. And God will give, give you that grace. But don't put yourself down. Don't be saying something negative to yourself. Because as soon as you are saying something negative to yourself, all your body, all your being, all your all your vein, everything is in you is hearing what you are saying. It's hearing what you are saying. Your spirit that is in you is taking what you are saying. So not later, something is not working. You said it's the enemy. No, watch what you are saying. 
The spirit of the Lord is in you. The spirit of the Lord is in me. We should watch what we are saying. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. We should watch what you are saying and speak to every bones, every dry bones, everything that is not working. Our right. Let us open our mouth and profess out to them. And they will come alive in Jesus' name. Praise Master Jesus. Let us read the word of the Lord. Ezekiel chapter 20. Ezekiel chapter, praise Master Jesus. 37, sorry. Ezekiel chapter 37. Verse 1 to 14. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. The hand of the Lord was upon me, and they carried the meaner out in the spirit of the Lord, and they set me down in the midst of the valley, which was full of bones, and they caused me to pass by them round about. And behold, then there was very many in the there open the valley, and the low, they were very dry. And he said unto me, Son of man, can these bones live? And I answered, O Lord God, thou knowest. Again he said unto me, Professor unto these bones, and say unto them, O ye dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Thus I said that the Lord God unto these bones. Behold, I will cause a breath to enter into you, and ye shall live. Hallelujah. And I will lay sinews upon you, and I will bring you fresh upon you, and cover you with the skin, skin, and put a breath in you, and ye shall live, and ye shall, and ye shall know that I am the Lord. So I prophesy as I was commanded. And as I prophesied, there was a noise, and behold, a shaking, and, a, and, and the bones came together, bones to, to his bone. And when I beheld, lo, their sinews and the flesh came, came, upon, came up upon them, and the skin covered them above, but there was no breath in them. Then I said to him unto, unto me, prophesy unto the wind, prophesy son of a man. And I said to the wind, does I said the Lord, does said the Lord God, come from the fort, fort winds, O breath and breath upon this name, that they may live. So I prophesied as, they, as, 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 as he commanded me. And the dead bread came into them, and they live and stood up upon their feet, and a exceedingly great army. Then he said unto me, Son of man, there, there, son of man, these bones are the whole house of Israel. Behold, the, behold, they say, they said, Our bones are dried, and our hope is lost. We are cut off from our path. Therefore, the prophesy and say unto them, Thus said the Lord God, Behold, O my people, I will open, I will open your graves and give and cause you to come to, and cause you to come up out of your graves and bring you into the land of Israel. And Ye shall then know that I am the Lord when I have opened your grace, O my people, and brought you up out of your grace, and shall put my spirit in you, and ye shall live, and I shall place you in your own land. There shall ye know that I, the Lord, have spoken it. And they performed it, said the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Glory, glory, hallelujah to the Lamb of God. You and I can see what the Lord of Almighty God is saying. Prophet Ezekiel, Prophet Ezekiel didn't disobey God. He said to God, if you say so, it will be, I believe in you, I trust in you. You and I, 
when God will say something to us, we should not doubt the Spirit of the Lord is in us. The Spirit of the Lord is in you. The Spirit of the Lord is in me. We should not doubt. Let us speak to every, every dry bones, every dry situation in your life. Speak to them. Prophesy to them. And God Almighty, we hear you. Praise Master Jesus. As he said, he said in verse 14, And they shall put my spirit in you, and ye shall live. You and I, we are living. The Spirit of God is in us. The Spirit of God is in you. The Spirit of God is in me. We bless the name of the Lord. We bless the name of the Lord. We thank God for the Spirit of the living God. Let us invite him every day now. When we wake up, let us welcome him. Let us welcome him in our lives. Welcome him in greeting. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Let us welcome him. He's here to help you. His mission is to help you. His mission is to help me. We should not neglect him. Lord Jesus Christ knew the importance of the Holy Spirit. Lord Jesus Christ knew. It's because of that he said, let me go to my father. We tell my father, we ask my father to send you, to bring, give you Holy Spirit. And he did. And you and I, we have Holy Spirit. Let us use Holy Spirit. Let us ask him. Let us use the, whole, the help of the Holy Spirit because he's here to help us. If you don't ask him, we don't force himself to help you. You have to ask him. You have to ask him. Me as well, I have to ask him. Let us go to praise Master Jesus. Let us go to the book of uh, Ephesians. Praise Master Jesus. The book of Ephesians. Let's see what the Lord said here. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. The book of Ephesians. Hallelujah. The book of Ephesians. Let's read that verse 30. Let's um the book. I'm sorry. The book of Ephesians 430. Let us read. <laughs> Let read. And, the, and, and it said, and the grief known the Holy Spirit of God. Whereby ye are saved unto the day of redemption. This is another thing you and I should not do. We should not grieve the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit is gentle, gentle, sweet Holy Spirit. We should not grieve him. Holy Spirit is a person, it's not it, it's a person. Don't grieve him. The word of the Lord is telling you not to grieve Holy Spirit. I should not grieve Holy Spirit. Please. We should not grieve him. Let us do. When he, as soon he advises us, let us take that advice. When he said, don't do this, he knows what is good for you. He knows what is good for you. He knows what is good for me. We don't do this. Don't do it. Obey him. Let us learn to obey the Holy Spirit. Then hear the, Holy, the, the voice of the Holy Spirit and listen to him. Let us not grieve Holy Spirit. He's a person. We should not grieve him. In the, in the, as we are seeing Ephesians. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 18 to 20. Let me read the word of the Lord. I read in Jesus' name. And I be not a drunk with the wine. Wherein is the essence of butter? Be filled with the with the spirit, speaking to you yourselves in a sons and a hymns and a spiritual songs, speaking, singing and a making melody in your heart to the Lord. Give it thanks also. Mm. Give it thanks. Give it thanks always for all things unto God and the Father in the name. Of our Lord Jesus Christ. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We bless the name of the Lord. You are not, <laughs> you are not, you can hear the word of the Lord. He's telling you are not, not to be drunk. Not to be drunk, but to be dr not to be drunk with a wine, but to be filled with the Holy Spirit. You are not every day we must be filled as a child of God. We must be filled with the Holy Spirit. We must be filled with the Holy Spirit. We should not be drunk with alcohol. We should not be drunk with alcohol. Because when the Spirit of the Lord is with you, you went out out there, you start drinking alcohol. 
You and I know when you, you and I, you and I, we know that that's when just somebody is drunk, you know, the mouth you're supposed to prophesy good thing to yourself, then you start saying something that is not uh, pleasing to God, that is it's not even pleasing to man. No, when somebody is drunk, when he's walking on the way, he don't even know that he's walking on the road. If car is coming, he doesn't even know anything about it. He doesn't know. He doesn't even, no, no. There's no sense. The alcohol took the sense away. That's when this is road. If I'm crossing this road, cars, cars are coming, it will get the person down. No, because of, because of the alcohol. Now, the person is drunk. Walking on the way, you don't even know where you are going. A child of God, you call yourself a child of God, you call yourself a Christian. You call yourself, you speak in tongues. Eh? Then it's because of that you and I should not be drunk with the, with the, with the, with the alcohol. We should be filled with the Holy Spirit. When somebody is drunk, with a, when somebody is drunk with alcohol, Many times you see somebody drunk with alcohol, it, it will vomit, we vomit, it will throw up. As he throw up, vomit there. It's lying on top of that, on top of that, on top of that, on top of that, that, that mess. Because his sense, his sense, his senses is gone. When somebody, when somebody is drunk, sleeping outside, he doesn't even know if he's sleeping outside. Where he just where he just walked to is that place in which just fell down and sleep. Drunkenness. On the following day, what will happen? Then he start complaining headache. Start complaining headache. And when the things are you, maybe you have wallet, with, we have your purse with you, have your wallet with you. You don't even know where somebody steal from you. You don't even know. And you start cursing anyhow because of the drunkenness. You start cursing anyhow. And you're supposed to be filled with the Holy Spirit. Not be drunk with alcohol. Not be drunk with alcohol. You know it's not good for you. It's not good for me. It's not good for our system, actually. Alcohol is not Because it, what God said you and I should not do, he knows everything. He knows everything. What is good for you and what is good for me? We should not be drunk with alcohol. Let us be filled with the Holy Spirit. Let us be filled with the Holy Spirit. Please, beloved. The Holy Spirit is our intercessor. Is our intercessor. Is holy. Is pure. So if we are doing something evil, he will not stand there. He will not be there. Beloved, let us live a holy life. Let us live a holy life. At any time, we prophesy to ourselves, prophesy to somebody. Prophesy to any situation, dry bones in somebody's life. God will bring life to that person's life. Because the life of your holiness that you are living, God will reward you. God will reward you by answering you. By you speaking to by you speaking life to somebody's God will answer you and God will reward you. Our Father is a rewarder, He will reward you. Please let us not be let us not be drunk with the alcohol, but feed with the Holy Spirit. And let us learn how to invite a sweet Holy Spirit. Let us learn. To call upon him, he will answer, he will help us, he will be with us. Every time is in, is in you, is in, is in you, Holy Spirit of God. Holy Spirit of God is in you. The mount, the mount we need to, the mount you and I, as the word of the Lord says here, yeah, that you should speak to, you should speak to yourselves. We should speak to ourselves. The mount you and I are supposed to speak, used to speak to ourselves with hymns, with sons, speak to ourselves with, uh, with sons, speak to ourselves with hymns, speak to ourselves in the spiritual sons. We don't use them and start drinking alcohol. 
Then uh, later on, we don't even know what you are saying. Say something that will be hurting people. You know? And then ma we're supposed to speak. So we're supposed to speak to ourselves. Uh, songs and then uh, making melody in our heart to our Lord. Praising God always. Giving thanks to God. Singing, singing songs to God. That is what we're supposed to be doing. Not having our time going out there because I'm drinking alcohol or smoking. Let us stop it. Let us stop it. Holy Spirit is not happy when he sees you and I doing what is not pleasing to Father God. He's here to help you. He's there to help me. If you are still struggling with all those things, please ask him to forgive, to ask God to forgive you and give you the grace. He said, I will pour my grace upon you. His grace is sufficient to you. You and I knew when the Apostle Paul was asking, uh, when Apostle Paul was asking Father God to give, to take away what it was going on in his life happening, Father God said, my grace is sufficient unto you. Same to you and I. The grace of God is sufficient unto you, unto me. Praise Master Jesus. Glory be to God on highest. We bless the name of the Lord. We thank God for his goodness. We thank God for his mercy towards us. We thank God for his loving of We thank God for the spirit of the living God that is upon you, that is upon me, that leading us every day. We bless the name of the Lord. We thank God for his goodness. We bless his holy name in Jesus' name. We thank God. We thank God. We bless the name of God. This is the word almighty God has laid in my heart to talk about today about the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit is a person. Holy Spirit is here to help you and I. We should not neglect him. We should not neglect him. Please. Please take the advantage. The advantage to, to, to ask Holy Spirit to help you know everything. Just take the advantage. Just take the advantage. He will help you. We help you. Please. He's here to help us. He's here to help us. Please. We should not neglect him. We should not neglect him. He loves us. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord bless you all in the name of Jesus Christ. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Please, if you are out there, you don't know Lord Jesus Christ, you haven't accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord, your Savior. You are hearing about Holy Spirit of God. He is the one that leading the children of God. If you don't have Jesus Christ in your hand, there is no, the Holy Spirit is not in you. You have to be born again. You have to accept Jesus Christ to be your Lord, to be your Savior. He will come and lead you. He will come and direct you. He will come and help you. I want you, please, accept Jesus Christ as your Lord, your Savior. Please accept him. He loves you. He don't want you to die in your sins. Please, if you assist, if, please, if you don't have Jesus Christ, please, there is no other way. There is no other. There is no other salvation. That, according to the word of the Lord, it's read, It is written. No other way you can get salvation. In Acts chapter four, verse verse twelve. Acts chapter four, verse the word of the Lord said, "Neither is there any salvation in any way, for there is a no other name under heaven given among men." Whereby we must be saved. There is no other name. There is none. Please don't be deceived. Accept Jesus Christ as your Lord, your Savior. Pray genuinely. Accept Him. He will come and live with you. The Holy Spirit of God will be with you. Start leading you every day. Please, God wants to. God wants you to spend your eternity with Him. He doesn't want to. He doesn't want to miss you. Please accept Him as your Lord, your Savior. As you are accepting him, please. You will look for Bible church, the church that teach undiluted word of God. And then look for Bible by Bible and start reading. God, Holy Spirit of God is in you. It will help you gradually start growing in grace in Jesus' name. Amen. Pray after me. I mean it with your whole heart. As you pray this prayer, please turn away from your sinful way please, and live. God will give you the grace to live a holy life, a righteous life in Jesus' name. Let us pray. Praise Master Jesus. Dear God, 
I am a sinner and I, and I need forgiveness. I believe that Jesus Christ shed his precious blood and died for my sin. I am willing to turn from sin. I am inviting Jesus Christ to come into my heart as my personal Savior. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Amen. May the Lord bless you. You are a child of the Most High God. Please look for the Bible Church on the word, the church that teach Bible that teach undiluted Word of God. Please, even though it's bitter, please bear it. You will enjoy it on that day. You will see your Maker. <laughs> you will enjoy so much. You will be so grateful that you drop all those things. When they are telling you drop earrings as a woman. Drop earrings, drop and rings, any ring, ring is ring. Ring is ring, nose ring, man, the tongue ring, the lips ring, any ring. Ring in and then ring. Ring is ring. Drop them, please. If they are telling you to drop all those uh, ornaments, huh? just drop them. It's for your good. They are telling you a woman, you are fixing your hair. Drop it. Don't be don't be perming your hair. Do it. It's for your good. God will give you the grace. Don't wear trousers as a woman. God will give you the grace to stop it in Jesus' name. Because you and I, we are practicing what we are going to do in heaven. Hallelujah. Because in heaven, in the, all of us are wearing flow garments. So you have to learn it here. <laughs> you have to learn it here right now. Wearing flow garments. Hallelujah to the love of God. Amen. Amen and amen. We bless the name of the Lord. Amen. May the Lord bless you. Virtual Sume. Well, I just love with Virtual Sume. <laughs> I love you with the love of God. I love you. I love you all. All oh, Virtual Sume. I just love you. Ah, I love you with the love of God. I love you. You know, one day all of us will see each other. Just imagine. I'm just imagining about it. One day I will see all my beloved sisters. I will see all of them, all the virtuous women. Ah, this one will run to this one, this one run to this. Ah, what a joy, what a joy, what a joy. Ah, may the Lord bless you. More grace, more grace, more grace. All the virtuous women worldwide, more grace, more grace. God, we continue giving us more grace. More grace, more grace. To walk, <laughs> to walk with him and walk for him, for his own glory in Jesus' name. Please, virtuous women, we should not uh, be tired. We should not be weary. We should not be weary. Uh, more, strength, more strength from above unto you all in Jesus' name. Please let us go out there and uh, tell our sisters out there how they dress. Just let us tell them. We should not. Don't argue with nobody. Don't quarry with nobody. Just give them the word of the Lord. Leave it there. The seed will take root. The seed will grow. And that day, when God will say, come, my daughter, nothing, nothing can stop it. She start pulling off from here to here, hearing out, rinse out, this one out, this one, her fake hair out, makeup out, see lipstick out. No, they start throwing it out like you and I did. <laughs> we bless the name of the Lord. Let us go out there, please. God will reward you. God will reward you worldly. All oh, those suffer. All oh, those suffer. All those insults you are getting from a people that they are insulting you because you are telling them about the holiness of God. Don't worry. God will reward you. God will reward you greatly in the name of Jesus Christ. Please don't give up. Not, don't say because they are saying something rare. Say, if I say something, to, they are saying something to me that is mean. They are so mean to me. Don't do it. Don't, 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 don't think about it. Just think about your Lord Jesus Christ, you know? You and I, you can, had it been our Lord Jesus Christ was, uh, our Lord Jesus Christ uh, gave up on us, gave up, said, ah, I cannot do this anymore. All the insults, they were insulting him. Had he been said, I cannot do this one anymore. Ah, I don't want anything to do anymore. You and I could have not be safe, you know? He took the shame. He took the shame. The abuse, they were calling him man. They were calling him source of name. But he didn't. He didn't. He didn't mind them. He just continued doing the way the will of the Lord. Let us continue doing the will of our, of our Father, Lord Jesus Christ. No matter what they are saying, let's focus on our Lord Jesus Christ. Same our Lord Jesus Christ did. He focused on the Father God. He focused on the will of God, and he did it. 
let us continue telling our sisters out there please my sister what how you are dressing i can see you knew, i can see you love god so much but you're dressing it will not if god is coming now or you die today you will not see god which is your dressing god said that women should not put on what participate to to men we should obey them many of them don't know anything about it by the way let us be telling them god will give them the grace to hear god will give them the grace to listen in the name of jesus christ if they are arguing with you where is it in the bible you cannot wear jewelries where is it in the bible there where is it in the bible give them the word of the lord in psalm 135 verse 15 let them go and read it Je jeremiah and sorry uh, uh exodus chapter 7 verse 20 20 hallelujah 25 to 26 let them go and read it for themselves and they will see for themselves Isaiah chapter 30, verse 22. Isaiah 31, verse 7. Let them go and read it for themselves in Jesus' name. If they are telling you, where is he in the Bible? Woman cannot wear trousers. Tell them. Give them the word of the Lord. Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 5. If they are asking you, where is he in the Bible? You cannot make up. Where is he written in the Bible? It's only Jezebel that make up in the Bible. Tell them. It's only Jezebel. Go and read the word of the Lord. Jeremiah chapter 4, verse 13. 2 Kings, and 2 Kings chapter 9, verse 13. And Jezebel make up to subdue, to subdue the, 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 the man of God, Jehu. But I thank God for the anointing of Jehu. I thank God for Jehu. Jehu said, throw her down, and they threw her down. She's cut in pieces. God will not let that one be your portion. The God will not let that one be my portion. Please, if you have been hearing the word of the Lord concerning the jewelry, concerning the ornament, on ornament, ornamentations, please drop them. Please don't keep on doing what you know that is wrong, what you know that is an abomination to God. And you heard about it, you knew about it. Please. You kept on doing it. Please stop it because you don't know the day you will die. If you are listening to me out there, you don't know the day God will call you. Please stop it. Don't let those things take you away from God. Don't let jewelry, lipstick, just come on lipstick. Take you away from God. That the person will spend eternity in hell for your pain, in sorrow. That will not be your portion. It will not be my portion. Please let us give all those things up. It's, it's not worth for us to go to hell fire because of a listing, because of makeup, because of a extension. Eh? Hair extension. Fixing your hair with a wig. Putting the, those uh, demonic, uh, demonic things on your head. Please. Your hair is your glory. Please don't defy it. Don't put realize that. Don't color your hair. Your hair is your glory. Don't color it, please. Don't change your skin color. You are telling God that he didn't create you. The color is supposed to give you that. You are, you are insulting your maker. So when you die, where are you going then? Please stop it. Ask God for mercy, please stop. Don't be putting a tattoo, packing tattoo on your body. Don't put tattoo on your body. Slaves. Don't put tattoo on your body. Does it even look nice? Does it not? I don't see anything beauty there. So ugly. So ugly. Should not be going there putting tattoos on your body. You are a child of God. Your body belongs to Jesus. Your body is bought with price. Jesus bought it for you. It's a temple of God. It's not yours anymore. I saw you surrender to Jesus. Your body is not yours. Don't say you can do anything with your body. It's your body. No, it's bought by our Lord Jesus Christ with his precious blood. Please, all these things, when you are doing it, you are lying. You are lying when you are doing all these things. Because that skull killing, that's your, 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 your skin, that color is not your color. You are lying. Small lie, big lie. White line and black line. Don't go call the line how you want to name it. The, the degree you want to give to them. Any level you want to give to the lie, lie is lie. Lie is lies. The word of the Lord said in Revelation chapter 21, verse 8. Lie is lie. All liars. Not just a white liar, so not just only the, 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 the black liar, so 
Not that the small liar, so not the middle liar, so not that old, not the not not the, not the big liar, so all liars, small, twin, small like this, small lie. The enemy will use it to wrap that person, eh? Wrap that person is the grace of God that will take you out of his hand. Please, we should stop lying. All liars, you make up, you are lying. Your eye like to change your uh, the, the, your color, or you put your what is it called uh, in your in your face, your lips, huh? You are lying. Changing your skin color, you are lying. You are lying. You are a liar. You are a liar. Please stop it. Jesus Christ, you beautifully. You are beautiful. You are beautiful, good man of God. Daughters of Zion, you are beautiful. Don't be deceived by the enemy that you don't. If you don't make up, you cannot get out of your bedroom. Ah, my God. Devil is a loser. Please don't be lying. No. Stop it. Oh. Drop them. Oh. God will not let us spend our, our eternity in hell fire. Because oh. it's a terrible place. Jesus is not there. Jesus is not there. Where Jesus is not, it's horrible. Darkness. Pain, sorrow. Please. Have fire is free. Heaven is free. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. I love you all with the love of God. I love you. When you're in the house, when you're in the presence of God as a woman, please cover your head. Your hair is your glory. Please cover it. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord bless you. I love you with the love of God. Shalom, shalom, shalom.